Hi guys, it's Rach. I have my mirror in front of me and I have no makeup on because I thought today I could do a makeup tutorial for you. These are not my greatest videos ever. I'm definitely not a makeup artist, but I do try for you guys because I know that you like them. I thought we could have a little bit of fun with colour today since it's quite dark and dreary and rainy on the day that I am filming this. I was going through my collection and I found this fluid line from MAC. This is the shade Phlox Garden. It's a gorgeous purple shade. I'm going to try and keep it still wearable, but try and incorporate this in the look and hopefully just have a little bit of fun with some products that I haven't used on camera before. I have a mixture of high-end and drugstore, but I want to particularly pick products that I may not have featured in a video before. At least I think so, because I can't remember everything that I have or haven't used in tutorials. So with that being said, let's get started. How cute is my headband? Adorable. It's from Lady Jane. I love bows. I'm going to start with skin prep. I'm going to begin by dampening my skin. I'm then going to hydrate the skin with this moisturizer from Restylane. This just smells amazing as a little aside. It's kind of like cucumber melon. Amazing. <laughs> For our base today, I'm going to start off with foundation. This is the Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation. This one needs a bit of a shake, so I'm going to shake that one up. I'm going to apply it directly to the face and then blend it in with a brush. You can spray this foundation directly to your brush if you'd like, or you can try and use it as almost like an airbrush foundation. I find that a little bit messy, so I just prefer this method of application the best. And this foundation is definitely one that can be built up to quite a high coverage, or you can keep it quite light and keep it quite skin-like. I'm just spraying directly onto the brush, and I'm just going to stipple that on areas where I just need a little bit of extra coverage. For me, it's just on my chin and a little bit on the outer part of my cheek. I've got a few sort of leftover blemishes. I'm going to come back and finish off the rest of the face after I have done my eyes. I'm going to start off with brows. I'm using the Ilua Brow Pencil in the shade number 10, Dark Brown. I believe this is a new product from Ilua. There's a handy spoolie at the end, which is very helpful for brushing through your brows. I think you do need to use a normal sharpener to keep that point quite sharp, otherwise it makes it a little bit more difficult to draw in those really fine hairs. Just setting that with my tinted brow gel from Tarte. This one's really great for getting all those tiny hairs bright at the start of the brow. For eyes I'm going with a purple theme to match that eyeliner so I'm going to start by taking my By Terry Ombre Black Star in Misty Rock. This is a gorgeous gorgeous shade and if you do feel like a splurge on an eye crayon I definitely recommend these ones. I'm just going to roughly apply this all over the lid, it's the mobile lid, so really working it into that lash line. Then going in with a synthetic brush, this is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, I'm just going to smooth that out and slowly work it up into the socket. Just going back in with a little bit more just to build up that intensity. I'm trying to keep it the most intense near the lashes. I'm pulling sort of a little bit of what's left on the brush just along the outer part of the lower lash line. Once you've blended that eyeshadow and smoothed out any edges, I'm going to go in with a matte shade in the crease just to ground the look a little bit, stop my eyes from looking puffy because those, uh, the Ombre Black Star is quite shimmery and sparkly, which is gorgeous, but we need something just to, to tone it down a notch. I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartlet Palette, which is one that I've had for a little while but have yet to actually use on camera. We have some gorgeous, gorgeous shades here. I'm going to particularly be using these purple shades. I'm going to take a Sigma E25 blending brush and mix Natural Beauty and Best Friend together. Just a little bit on this brush, tap off the excess and I'm going to just sort of sweep this through the crease. These shades are quite similar to what we already have on the eye but this is just going to add that extra sort of element of depth. On that same fluffy brush, I'm actually going to take a little bit of Force of Nature. This is a slightly more neutral shade. I'm going to actually blend this above the crease, right where that cream eyeshadow kind of blends out into nothing. This will just sort of give it something to blend into. 
And while we're at it, I'm going to take Free Spirit and use this as a matte brow bone highlight, just because we've got so much shimmer going on on the lid. On a more tapered brush, I'm going to go in with Power Player, a slightly deeper, more taupey grey shade. I'm going to apply this right in the outer V, bringing it down towards the lashes and sort of right in that socket line. Taking a little bit of that right on that outer corner of the lower lash line as well. Lastly, I'm going in with a clean MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to give it one final blend. I'm really liking the way that the eyes have turned out at this point and you could certainly stop here if you wanted to but I do want to have a go with the gel eyeliner the Phlox Garden from MAC. I'm going to be using my favorite new brush to apply a winged liner. This is the winged liner EO6 from Sigma. It's a really tiny tapered angled brush which I think just makes the whole process that little bit easier. Let's face it, it's still going to be difficult but just give it a shot using the inside of the lid just to remove any excess and you can also shape the brush that way by going back and forth you get it into a really fine point Using a gel eyeliner to create a wing is certainly not my forte. I'm not an expert, but I think I did an okay job. They're not perfectly symmetrical, but I find that it's best just to let it be. When you try and go back in and fix it is when the problems really start. I'm going to take my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liquid Liner and create a really thin line right at the base of the lashes. This will help disguise any lash band if you plan on wearing fake eyelashes and will also help ground the look and keep it more wearable. Using the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black Noir, I'm going to tight line that upper lash line as well. Popping on a little bit of mascara before we do false lashes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational today. For lashes, I'm using the Eyelure Texture 117s. I accidentally picked up the pre-glued version, which I find is really, really difficult to use. But you can pull the glue strip off and then just use a normal glue, which is what I have done. I'm going to go back to the skin, so I'm just going to clean up any fallout from underneath the eyes with a little bit of moisturizer. You can also do this to sort of clean up that outer edge if you need to. For under eye concealer, I'm using the Chi Chi 3-in-1 Eye Concealer. This is the shade Fair. This is a new one for me, but I find it to be really brightening underneath the eyes, which is nice and not too heavy. You're trying to go for a really sort of skin-like look. I'm using the other end of my foundation brush just to blend that in. I want to keep my skin looking quite luminous, so I'm going to use my Models Prefer Soft Touch Mineral Powder in Soft Focus just to set the small areas where I need a little bit of powder, which is mainly under my eyes and my T-zone. I'm going to leave the rest of the face powder free. I'm not going to bronze my skin per se today because I'm feeling the kind of lighter look. I am, however, going to carve in a little bit of a cheekbone just because I need it and I feel better with it. Using the Kevin Aquan the Sculpting Powder, I'm just going to take a really small amount of this and apply it right to the backs of my cheekbones. To amp up the glow, I'm going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I recently purchased this and I am in love. It is so, so pretty. Using my Inglot 4SS brush, I'm just going to take a small amount of this and buff it on the tops of my cheekbones. Look at that glow. So pretty. Have any of you guys use the um, Jaclyn Hill one yet? The Champagne Pop? How do you feel like it compares to this one? Do I need them both is basically what I'm asking. I'm going to take a small amount of what's kind of left on the brush and just run this sort of along the bridge of my nose. Put a little bit right on the tip there. Just dusting a little bit on the cupid's bow as well. I feel so glowy. <laughs> 
Actually, while we have the highlighter out, let's finish off the lower lash line because I want to use this as an inner corner highlight. First, I'm going to go back to the Tartlet palette and I'm going to just take a small dome brush with a little bit of Natural Beauty, one of the shades that we used originally. And I'm just going to run this all the way along the lower lash line just to blend out the product that we already have there. Make sure that there's no harsh lines now that we've gone back in with concealer. Just taking the excess product off on the back of my hand, I'm now going to use that same brush and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I'm just going to pop this on in the inner corner. Just adding some mascara to the lower lash line as well. As a final step for the eyes, I'm just going to take a Q-tip and remove any excess product that may have migrated to that lower waterline. And then I'm going to use a skin coloured eyeliner just to brighten that area. Okay, what do we have left? Blush and lips. So for blush, I'm actually going to take the YSL Baby Doll Kiss and Blush. This is in the shade number 8. It's a really pretty peachy pink shade. I think I'm going to try and use this on both my cheeks and on my lips. Just blending that in with my finger. I really like this shade. I feel like it just gives life back to your skin. Before I apply it to my lips, I am going to use a bit of a lip liner. This is the NYX, the Retractable Lip Liner Waterproof in the shade Natural. I'm just going to use my finger to apply a little bit of that Kiss and Blush in number 8. Was it number 6? Number eight. That's right. <laughs> Last but not least for this makeup look, I'm going to use a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So here we have the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed playing with a little bit of colour while still keeping it quite neutral and wearable. I feel like this look would work for both daytime and nighttime. Maybe you could skip the falsies if that's a little bit too much for you for the daytime or you could even use a different liner depending on what your eye colour is. Maybe you'd want to use a blue to really bring out blue eyes or you could use an emerald green, a navy, any colour that you want or that you have in your collection. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've used today, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you are new, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll have all the products that I use listed in the description box below as always. Also, all my social media links are there. So come say hi to me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. I would love to be able to chat to you guys there. And other than that, I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye. Just spent half an hour of filming time trying to get the lid off the fake eyelash glue. Seriously, why do you make these so difficult? <laughs> I can't get you off. Is it tweezers? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh! <laughs> and of course I've managed to uh, lose my other lash. Why do these things always happen to me when I film? Why? Why? Stupid piece of hair, stay where you belong.